Felda Global Ventures or FGV saw its shares fall by more than 6% thanks to a boardroom brawl that came to a head today. The group has ordered four executives, including its president and CEO Zakaria Arshad and CFO Ahmad Tifli Mohamed Talha, to go on forced leave after Zakaria refused to resign. According to FGV non-executive chairman Isa Samad, the move is related to its probe into certain transactions at its unit Delima Oil Products after the four were found to have been involved in improprieties by auditors PwC Malaysia. This is in relation to payments to Safitex, a long-time Afghan-based customer. Zakaria is not about to go quietly into the night. He maintains he's done nothing wrong, that those payments had been approved and implemented by his predecessor, Muhammad Emir Mavani Abdullah. And according to the NST, he believes that MACC should be involved to see if there are any discrepancies in dealings conducted by himself, the management or any of the superiors. In response, ESA says FGV won't have any issue if the MACC does decide to step in, saying Zakara himself can request the anti-graft agency to investigate if he wants. The MACC has since confirmed it will call up Zakaria. FGV's shares closed 6.4% lower today at one ringgit 62 cent. Companies with operations in Qatar saw share prices fall after seven nations made a decision to sever diplomatic ties with the nation. Serbo Dynamic fell 7.56% to 2 ringgit 8 cent. Muhiba Engineering fell 3.23% to 2 ringgit 70. WCT Holdings is down 2.78% to 2 ringgit 10 cent. Ever Sendai Corp is down 1.49% to 99.5 cent. And Gamuda closed 1.11% lower at 5 ringgit 35 cent. The diplomatic spat was sparked after Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, the UAE, Egypt, Yemen, Libya and Maldives accused Qatar of supporting Islamists. Qatar has since reportedly expelled a number of senior Hamas figures, including top Hamas commander Saleh al-Aruri, who is believed to be seeking refuge in Malaysia. Hamas has, however, denied reports its officials have been expelled from Qatar. Former PM Mahathir Mohamad says he had big plans for Proton while he was still chairman. He said in a blog post today that he had proposed a number of things, including upgrading Proton's engine, producing pickup trucks and fitting the Campro Proton 1600cc engine with a turbocharger, but they were all shot down. Mahathir is still bemoaning what he sees as the loss of his pet project and insists that Proton is no longer a national car maker. He writes, a brand owned by others, manufactured and made a success by others, cannot be recognised as a national brand. He goes on to say that there are high costs involved when defending your honour and that it is easier to just sell it. China Galaxy Securities Co. is set to become a joint shareholder of CIMB Group's international stockbroking business. CIMB said in a bursa filing today it is selling a 50% stake in Singapore-based CIMB Securities International to the Beijing Headquartered Brokerage and Investment Bank's unit, China Galaxy International Financial Holdings, for $167 million or about half a billion ringgit. According to CIMB, the purchase consideration was arrived at based on a multiple of 1.3 times of CIMB Security International's consolidated net asset value of $256.9 million as of December 31, 2015. With this, CIMB's stockbroking business will be repositioned as a pure play broker with a client base of a universal ASEAN bank. Group CEO Zafo Aziz describes the partnership as a natural fit and calls it a landmark deal that heralds the embracing of a new paradigm for the stockbroking business. The proposed disposal is expected to be completed by the fourth quarter of this year and contribute positively to CIMB's earnings. Two parties are also in discussions with respect to the Malaysian stockbroking business. MRCB is tendering for 6 billion ringgit worth of construction jobs as it works to beef up its construction segment. Its current construction order book stands at 7 billion, which should keep the company busy over the next five years. ED Mohamed Imram Mohamed Salim says the projects it is tendering for are rail related, flood mitigation, and civil engineering related. Other projects on MRCB's radar include the controversial Kepong incinerator and the redevelopment of the PWTC. 
However, the Bandar Malaysia Integrated Transportation Terminal is not in its current tender book, and spinning off MRCB's construction arm is not a priority at the moment. According to Imran, this is because MRCB is working to strengthen its construction arm by improving its margins and order book.